we've had a lot of questions about time travel. People are fascinated about your approach to time travel. And I know we've talked about this in the past, but um, this is a very specific time travel question. If you had a time machine, Carl, to what event in your childhood would you travel back to and why? What's the point in going back to oh, things geez, that you thought? Yeah. No, it's just that it's never as good, is it? It's like a place you go on holiday and you go back thinking it'll be as good as the first time. It never is. So I don't, I don't believe in going back to places what do you, what what do you understand the question is uh, do do you, do you think they're asking would you go back like a ghost and spy would you go back and you've got um your childhood back you are that child again you're in the body you are the child or you've got your adult um head and experiences well, on you know you, you Rick, could, I really don't think Carl was thinking there was any of those variations. <laughs> no, let's be honest. But now that you've flagged I him think up. he was thinking of him as he is now in school with a cap on. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But Too big for foot. the chairs. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Come on. No, I, I don't think I'd, I would go back. It's all happened now, isn't it? Yeah, but it's a, an email to a podcast for our own amusement. Well, okay. Well, Choose then, an event. Okay, forget the time travel thing. Well, no, hang on. Event. I think let's clarify one of Ricky's points. What if you could go back and you could live that moment again? How would you do it differently? There's, there's been times where I've gone, oh, that was a bit out of order or whatever. But then you learn from your mistakes, don't you? So I don't want to go back and change stuff. Because it's, it's like that thing that they go on about, isn't it, where they blame the butterfly on an earthquake. You know, it's going to happen. If it wasn't that butterfly, it's another one. So why why pass the book is what yeah. I'm saying. So you've got no regrets. There's so nothing in your past you'd want to change or what, do differently. What what about if you went back and you spied like a ghost on something? You couldn't change anything, but you could you could have a look at someone and just sort of look like uh, you like know what? like Ebenezer Scrooge does at the Ghost of Christmas Past. He goes back and he's sort of like looking at himself dancing and stuff. Or what would you do? What would you go back and have a look at? Yeah, but uh, you're oh. asking me to change. I don't want to change. Yeah, you're not, not changing. You're just observing. Thing. It's impossible. All right, I tell this you what. question. I, this is. Yeah. It's not going to happen. You're not going to have to. Do this. It's impossible. Right. Yeah, I nearly died once in a, on a uh, on an ice pop. Right. Right. Now, maybe if I would have died, I'd say, "Well, let's go back to that," and I won't have an ice pop. You wouldn't be doing the podcast if you'd have died. You wouldn't be uh, having this email put to you. What are you? That's talking absurd. About? You're now saying. You're rewriting history and then going back to change it. Yeah. There's no need. You, you didn't, didn't die. die. <sighs> well, and what? we've changed it. You can't change anything. You're just going to go back and watch them. Would you like to go back and watch yourself choking on a Mr. Freeze? No, that's what I'm saying. That's why I wouldn't go back now, because I'm all right. I haven't had one since. I've learned a lesson. I'm not missing them ice pops. So... <laughs> I know that you're making the most of this opportunity to fantasise. I don't see the point in going back in anything. I mean, do you mean go back in time to the oh. point of you can see, like, Rome in its working day? What, in your childhood? Was Rome about when in your childhood? Were there gladiators well, in your childhood? Well, that's what I'm saying. Everything I've, I've been through, I've been through, so why see it again? Forget it. It was just a nice little question. I mean, that shows the, the lack of imagination right, in Carl right. Pilkington. Can, can your I, mind can't fathom right, something well, unless it's, like, you know, got two heads. But I don't see the point in doing something twice. Because the thing is, safe this one good moment when I was about six that I loved. Mm. I'd then have to go through all the other 20 years again. Well, why? Why have you imposed that? It's <laughs> a fantasy. Make up. <laughs> you could go back and come back yeah, again. Yeah, whiz back and fast forward 35 years. Nah. Brilliant. No. Like it was on offer. <laughs> like this was really on offer. Move on.